Day number three, guys, and we are starting us off with an awesome opportunity right here. As you can see behind me, we are driving down the road and we spotted this. It's a pool at a motel, and it's lifted up in the concrete through the parking lot. Now, it made perfect hips right here, so we wanted to ride it, but we're like, we're going to get kicked out right away. So we talked Maddie into going to talk to the woman at the front desk and ask for permission, and she thought about it for a little bit. She goes, okay, so we're just going to get a couple clips, and then we're out of here. Yes, Matt. Yeah, cool. Nice. <laughs> so this side's a little bit tighter, so it figured it'd be good for some spins, which it is. We appreciate we yeah. appreciate the time we did have here. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. Seriously, that was a solid three minutes. <laughs> Matt got a little too wild. I am shocked that that worked as long as it did. <laughs> That was amazing. We're actually gonna go to another street spot. Let's see if we can sweet talk them as well. <laughs> spot number two. We actually found this one when we were driving to go get some food. And the boys were like, yo, that's ridiculous. And I agree. Um, but the thing is though, once you get close to it, you realize it's not perfect. Look how many bumps are in this thing. Like it's not smooth at all. Like us being from New Jersey and just seeing like a random setup like this is insane. Like we would be all over this. We'd have this thing perfectly smoothened out. Just a little bit of stuff down there to make sure it's smooth. Morgan actually let us borrow this piece of wood to make it a little bit easier for us. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna play around this. Hopefully the boys can get a little wall ride on it. It'd be really cool. <laughs> All right, we're making progress. Nice, Matt. Burglar with speed. Yes. Are you disappointed? I, mean, I didn't really care about this spot when we drove by. You didn't? Nah, Corey was Ow. like, dude, there's a wall ride. You just want flat rail, that's all you want. All right, John. No, we'll take a ride. This spot looked awesome. I just don't know why they didn't build it right, you know? Yeah, they definitely didn't build that's it the best they, way they could. They would do this awesome transition, but not smooth it out. I totally concur. Full concurrence, right, Corey? We're at full concurrence, so we should go to the next spot. All right. Whoa! Luckily for us, um, the bank's right there. There's a, another one right on that corner. So we're gonna go move over there and see if the guys come up with anything there. Watch out for the stick. Oh. Matt, I just told you. <laughs> Try the wood piece right there, but don't go as high because there's branches up there. All right, I'm just gonna go faster than I've ever gone at this thing yet and uh, we'll see what happens. Car behind you, okay? Nice. That was awesome. That was awesome. We're gonna keep this moving, man. All right, <laughs> little by little. All right, let's go load up. So we were just across that street, and I looked over here, and I saw this banked wall. So you can see, it's a nice bank with actually a deck on it, which is really surprising to see. So the boys are gonna hit a quick train, and that's gonna be it. Nice. Yeah, this is a spot, Scott. This is a spot. We finally brought Dom to where he belongs. Yep. That looks like it's a Brosorel to me. <laughs> it does. One of my favorite things about Texas is the fact that there's random flat rails almost around every single business. So we actually drove around the area, looked for a place that wasn't in business, and we ended up finding this spot. We're gonna mess around with it. I just wish we had wax. They really don't slide at all. We are messing up big time on this one. But we're running a little bit short on time because Maddie has the event tomorrow. This is going to be his last day of practice, and he only has one hour today at 5 p.m. It's currently like 2.30, so we got to get over there, get everything ready, make sure Maddie has lunch and whatnot. So we'll cruise around, get a couple tricks on here. When I say a couple, probably like only one each or something like that. But we'll see what they come up with. Since we don't have any wax and it really doesn't slide too good, we're going to come up with some other tricks that work on it. Good thing Don's a pro at this. Nice. Yeah, Dom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. core? Is it two days in a row? Two. Back wheel on some sort of rail? I'm feeling it, man. We're gonna take this time once again to show Corey's beautiful poop from doing that railing where he got the gold key. Corey's a man. Honestly, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, and I'm glad I was there to film it and be a part of it. In case you guys do forget, I always have this. Dude, I would keep that thing with me as well, man. Huge shout out to the legend, Dave Mira. All right, Matt, you got a lot to follow up on this one. What do you got planned? I've got my, my clip idea. Um, Fast plant over the rail, come around this beam over here, and then to hop over to double peg grind across the cool. white rail. Let's do it. Nice. 
Nice, Matt. <laughs> well, give it to Dom. I think the most productive session of the day so far was the flat rail one. So I understand why you ride it so much. Yeah, could have been better. Just should have brought wax. Should have brought wax, right? The only street rider I know that doesn't have wax. Unbelievable. On. I carry dice on uh, me. Exactly. Can't carry wax. I wasn't expecting this today, you know. I'm never expecting it. Well. I mean, I'm always trying to get into a game like of CeeLo, but you know, <laughs> hey, I'm never expecting never know. it. Well, we're wrapping up our street session for today. Now it's time to go head over to the skate park. We're gonna go check in, see what's going on there. I'm sure there's gonna be some crazy riding going on and Matt's gonna get his final practice. So let's go make it happen. How are you feeling? It's almost practice time. I am almost ready. Almost practice time. You got three minutes. I went to the bathroom like four times today. Ew. I'm feeling so much better though. That's disgusting. And I've actually drank water today. Yeah. I haven't drank any water probably this whole week being here. And I'm finally and like a gallon you, Aren't you some kind of health guy? Yeah, it's terrible. I've been eating tacos, shooting guns, and not worrying about water intake. All right. What do you got, coach? Take this practice, figure everything out, and let me know who you think is the biggest threat, and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, <laughs> what if there's a bigger issue where everyone's a threat? <laughs> You're going to have to get to work. A lot of bikes could go missing tonight, dog. You, you know how you popped Morgan's tube? No, I didn't. But, like, <laughs> no, we just need, I know we, how his tube popped, yeah. We just need like 19 of those. Hey, and you know what? All these guys are on tube alito, so they won't just take oh, a regular tube. Yeah, so yeah. even better, I got one tube alito with me. So that's that's like a $1,000 tube. That's a $1,000 tube right there. <laughs> So we are finally up on top of the ramp right now, and we're actually going to witness something really cool. This is Ben Wallace. He's a rider originally from England. He's been living in California. Amazing. No, you're right. I'm just but figuring. he's actually going for a test right now to get a key. Now, the thing is, Morgan gives up keys, and people do a backflip on their first drop in here at the skate park. And he's just rolling in here for the first time, and he's got to do a backflip over to Box Dome. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, he's got it. Just got his key. Nice, Matt. So how are you feeling right now on your uh, practice before the event? Awesome. Cool. I feel good. I feel fast. I'm not going to try that, but I feel good. Other than that, man, he's good. He's fantastic. He's fun to watch. He is a lot of fun to watch. He's, he shakes the whole skate park while he, he really rides. does. A lot of power there. Incredible. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna keep on filming Marcus on this quarter pipe. Yo! Yes! Woo! Nice, man. We're still trucking like five years on the box. You still had like at least 30 seconds left. I'm not doing a triple truck, don't even run. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, man! What's holding you back? Tell me to do it. I was... You couldn't do it. I had, I had it in my head. I got that one. Don't worry. I got that. Anything you want to say about what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? He left me hanging. What a jerk! Give you a little add-on. Usually, he's the one left hanging all the time. Though, yeah. So that's a first. A lot of times, I'm like, yeah. Always, man. He's cool. got great timing. Especially Corey. Uh, so what? What? You I want to send that far quarter to the We know. Foot. We clearly know what you're saying. Morgan's got the key. He says it's a definitely a key-worthy. No one's uh, done it yet. Woo! So, all right, Maddie is about to go for this big air that he's been nervous about. Let's see if he can get it. Woo! He almost overjumped it, dude. So we're gonna be wrapping up the day. Uh, we had so much fun riding three. It was awesome to see Maddie get his practice in. He's looking really good for the event. Now, making it all come together within one run, that's gonna be the hard part. But the next video you guys are gonna see is Maddie's day of riding. We're gonna document it. We're gonna show you all everything from him being nervous about his run. This is actually like his first real pro contest. It's like uh, at a park instead of just at like the Vans Pro Cup. So they're actually looking for like the craziest tricks possible. So guys, it's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you tomorrow.